Attention, all Marvel Strike Force gamers. Nick Fury is in great danger, and he needs your help to wipe out all the squads out of the Dark Dimension. All he needs is 30,000 advanced basic catalysts, 500 million gold, and he will be on his way. To help him, all he needs is your parents' credit card number, the three wacky numbers on the back, and the expiration month and date. But you gotta be quick so that Nick Fury can secure the victory. Well, that's actually a Fortnite meme that's going on right now where someone hired somebody on Fiverr, paid them $5 to say these goofy scam announcements trying to get kids. It's, it's kind of a meme. And apparently now the guy is charging like $100. So I had to do the reenact it myself. But we got to talk about something that makes me go, hmm... Like, I really don't know what to even think about this. This is kind of uh, concerning to me. And uh, we'll just get into it. There's a website called Help Shift, and they put up a video on YouTube, and they also put a post on their website. And it's kind of an advertisement for this company that creates AI bots, automated systems, and Marvel Strike Force is using it for their customer service. So this right here is a video that we're gonna watch together because uh, as you know, Marvel Strike Force and Foxnet has had some huge PR problems in the last couple of months. In fact, Polygon did an article and we're gonna look at that here in a minute, talking about how they're trying to course correct. And that's great, but I just find it highly <laughs> just like insane that they this video would actually be published somewhere. In fact, it came out October 31st, and we're gonna watch it together. It's a doozy. I'm Michelle Desenko, Senior Director for the Customer Care Team at Fox Next Games. Fox Next Games just released Marvel Strike Force this year, and it's a free-to-play game where you can battle alongside allies and heroes. We wanna make sure that we are listening to all the players, we're handling every issue. Woo! What she said right there is, we wanna make sure that we're handling all the issues and we're listening to all the players. And that is like a sane, logical thing to say verbally. I mean, I think that if they're going to put anything out into the public domain, it should be positive or at least have a positive spin in a way that it's like, yeah, we want the game to be better. We want the players to be happy. We want to listen to them. And that has not been their track record. But even if they say it out loud verbally, I think that is a good thing. But this is where this video goes sideways when they explain specifically what the AI bots are. What the bots are for when you actually put in a complaint or a suggestion uh, to them directly, how is it gonna be handled by these AI bots? But I don't have to hire um, thousands of agents to be able to do live chat. AI and bots is quite interesting. Where I see this going is utilizing those for low level type issues, things that does not require an agent to do. For example, feedback. What? Low level issues like feedback. So if you take the time to send them feedback, it's a low level issue. And this AI bot will help them save time because they don't have to look at it. And at first I wasn't sure if I understood what they meant by that because it says, ah, yeah, you know, if you can't log into the game, yeah, certainly that's a big issue. You know, they wanna to get to you first, but let's go to the website for this uh, Help Shift app and just read what it says. And this is uh, talking to her, this is a pretty much a quote of the exact video. In fact, they link the video here. It says, one of the values, and this is quoting her, one of the values that this can offer is the ability to decrease the amount of low value tickets. For example, there is more urgency for those who cannot get back into the game versus those who just have feedback. 
So if we can automatically identify and target these issues with automations, generic responses that not even a human ever looked at just send you a, a cut and paste message as soon as you give them any feedback, that alone could roughly remove 10 to 15% of the tickets. Why would they publish this? I, I can understand if this is the way it works, and I'm not naive to the fact that customers and business, and they're here to make money, and they got to do it a certain way, but they're publicly saying that feedback is just feedback, and that it is a low-value ticket. This is the problem with the game. We're going to go through other three different posts. Uh, and these are from various news outlets, and this is why this is absolutely outrageous. Uh, the first one here is from Polygon, and this Polygon article was from earlier this month, and it talked about how bad the game got. It referenced an article that showed when Seton quit and Ox and how everybody was upset and Foxnet was not listening, and I'm paraphrasing, I think we all were there. We all remember. And then they talked to one of the head people over there, Amir. And I've actually have met Amir several times. And this is the takeaway from the article, this big quote they've got highlighted right here. We're just going to read it together because it kind of explains why this video that we just watched is a huge problem. It's a shame that it had to get to that point for us to open our eyes to the community and how to empathize with them, it did get there. And it did force us to re-examine how we get there and how we think about the community. Wow. So much for that mission statement. So much for that idea. Clearly, your customer support person doesn't feel that way. She just said right there that uh, feedback is low priority to them. And they're gonna use AI bots to basically just remove all of those tickets because they're of low importance and they just don't have time and they need to cut costs and cut employees, which I'm a big fan of. You know, I think that they should uh, cut as many costs and if a computer program do it, but why say it out loud? Why publish that they don't care about our feedback? This is terrible. This is terrible in light of this right here. And this just came out a couple days ago. Marvel Strike Force has earned over $55 million worldwide. Good for you. I want the game to make money. I want you to make tons of money because I want this game to be around a long time. Because overall, at its core, if the developers would just get out of the way, is a good game. Just be nice people. Care about us. Engage with us. Maybe give us a forum. Maybe respond to Reddit. Maybe be more active on Twitter. I don't know, do anything that every video game does pretty much nowadays, that's all I'm saying. Just act like you care, maybe actually care, I don't know, maybe that's too much, I don't know. And then this is just kind of blows my mind also right here. Foxnet knocks off Nintendo as the leader of gaming industry most seen TV ads. And this was published in August, but it's just basically saying that Foxnet spends the most on advertising. They're trying the hardest to get people to come to the game. They're spending more than Nintendo. They spend more than any other video game in August to publish and advertise their game. How much does it cost to create a forum? How much does it cost to pay someone to respond to posts on Reddit? I don't know, not a lot. Not as much as these advertisements. I mean, it's, this is huge amounts of money. And it just, it just, none of this makes any sense to me. And the reason why I'm bringing all of this up is that I want the best for the game. Uh, I want uh, what all the other players want. We just want like logical information. We want to feel good about our purchases. I want to feel good that every dollar I spend in this game is going towards a company that is intelligent and smart and create a fun game, as opposed to a company that is just like, doesn't care and is greedy and just no interest in the player base. And, and that seems to be this reoccurring mission, uh, reoccurring theme 
It's like their mission statement is like backwards and it's like the opposite of Blizzard's. Blizzard has a very player friendly mission statement, which basically says if you build a good game that people like, the money will follow. And I believe that is true. If the game is good, the money will follow. But if the game is greedy and bad and unfun and unfriendly, the game will never be successful. Just because you want to make money so bad doesn't mean that it's going to happen. And I just can't believe that they would just publicly state in this video and on this website that uh, feedback is low priority, probably just gets deleted by the computer. I don't know what I would do. If I, if I was had any kind of feedback and I put it on Twitter, it's not going to get read. If I put it on Reddit, it's probably not going to get read. Maybe, maybe not. The past, they haven't. Uh, then if I actually go into the game, into the customer server spot and put in feedback, a bot, you're getting an automated response, it's going to get removed. That's what it says on their website. All right, guys, what do you guys think about all this? Maybe it's a small thing, but I do think it's kind of a big deal. I think uh, the game uh, is still a little bit sideways. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Keep on gaming.